London. Once again, the horticultural hall becomes journey's end for thousands of schoolboys arriving for their own exhibition. The gateway to wider horizons as they listen to Wing Commander Beaumont, one of our top speed aces, explaining the amazing capabilities of the Canberra jet bomber. For others, the thrill of model planes in actual flight, encouraging the boy who's air minded into choosing a service life. During its 28 years, the exhibition has guided many youngsters into worthwhile careers. And after lessons on 25 pounders, they can at least be sure of a good report. That is, if they've given the correct range to the gunners. One visitor came from outer space, a flying saucer that crash landed on the site, so we're told. Fortunately, all its instruments were in working order, for the time being anyway. Ideas for the immediate future include the perfect schoolroom as designed by famous punch artists. A desk designed for classroom warfare, complete with a two-inch steel turret and a missile launching battery. A desk for happier study that eliminates the strain of writing inputs. A gadget writes them 50 lines at a time. They cater for the inner boy, too, with a Billy Bunter kitchen desk, incorporating a chestnut brazier and sausage cooker and a ginger pop injector. Later, we caught the eye of nautical film star Donald Sindon. He was undergoing helm instruction at the Sea Corps cadet stand, learning with the boys how to steer a course for the future.